Dustin Young here, Loam Roamer, and today I have my wife with me. Deborah is a personal trainer and has FitPro Solutions. So we have been talking about all the places we want to mountain bike this year, places we want to take the camper. We're waiting for our new Super Pacific, yeah, yeah. And you know, where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Last year we took the camper out. We, we visited a lot of really cool spots. We, we had long trips, we had a couple of short trips, but all in all, that was a lot of fun. It was. We mountain biked some cool places and we really got to go do some cool stuff. So now we started to come up with a list. We thought we'd share the list with you of all the places. We're gonna try to build trips. And if there's places you would go, that are different, let us know. You know, we're really interested to hear, hey, go ride, you know, in these locations. Now, go back. A few years ago, my wife was a mountain biker and uh, she was learning and getting better. And probably in the last two years, you've been through what, three mountain bikes probably. You had this specialized rumor was kind of your starter mountain bike. Um, you rode the road bike around a little bit, you know, chasing death with cars. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, and then you went to the Ibis Mojo 3. Yes. Great bike. Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, she's got a picture of her with Scott Nickel. Uh, you know, she customized it. It was a great bike and it really launched your riding. It did. Yeah. And then um, about a year and a half September. ago, September, mm -hmm. okay. So September 19, uh, I had, the month before I'd bought a Yeti SB150 and uh, we're at the bike shop and uh, Brad who worked at the bike shop is now the Norco rep, um, super awesome, knowledgeable bike guy. And we're talking bikes and she gets to go test ride the lunch ride. Uh, well, that just cost me a lot of money. It cost us a lot of money. Yeah. And she loved it. And it, I mean, the progression of your riding, and then, you know, she's taken lessons from Kira, and Kira's been a huge help in like how to ride. And what that means is we now get to go ride a lot more cool places because you're more comfortable than you were before. It's, yeah, it's been so much fun. Yeah. So we're putting together a list of places we'd like to go. So one of the places we'd like to go uh, is Tahoe because Tahoe is where we spend a lot of time. It's where we spend a lot of our weekends. Um, it's, but the cool thing is Tahoe's big. If, if you've never been to the Tahoe Basin, Lake Tahoe, Donner Lake, all of it, it is a big area. There is no just going mountain biking all of Tahoe for a weekend. You will barely see any of it in a weekend. More so, one side from Truckee to the other side of the lake is 45 minutes to an hour. So it's cool to actually go and camp and ride even around that basin and head 45 minutes up 89 and go mountain bike and camp and do stuff up there. I mean, Weber Lake is what, 30-ish, 40 minutes away. Super cool places to go. So, you know, when we talk about Tahoe, we mean the entire basin, right? Um, I love riding there, you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no way you say no to that. So, on top of that, Last year, we got the opportunity to ride Ashland, Oregon, and Oak Ridge, Oregon. Now, I think your bike, the 130, it's a lunch ride, so it's got a little more travel in the back. Um, we've unlunch rided the front um, just today. She went out for a ride, loved it. But um, it was awesome for those because it's a good climber. Mm -hmm. It's pretty light. Uh, you know, I made, we made, a friend of mine and I made another video about all this. We, we didn't post it because drinking and shenanigans. But the, the, the 150 is just so much bike, but I think your bike is killer. And so, you know, my thing is, you know, I need a trail bike. We didn't get to bend. We did not. Yeah. So I think one, we've got to go to Portland and get the Super Pacific Camper. Yep. Let's, let's hope they take a little bit of time mm -hmm. and it's not till like April because you drive right through Ashland. Right. You leave Portland, we can go to Bend. Mm -hmm. We can hop back to Oak Ridge and then we can stop at Shasta. Oh, yep. Yeah. I mean, this sounds like a week long, pretty awesome trip. And we'll be doing it in our brand new camper. And since we've already used a camper like this, we know what to take. Yep. 
So we are we good to go. We got that pretty dialed. We got that pretty dialed, right? So the biggest thing is, I guess, tying all the things down that will belong in the camper. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, we are ready to go for that trip. That'll be a swing through Oregon, super far Northern California, pretty awesome riding. That looks like one of our summer trips. It's a beautiful drive too. Oh yeah, beautiful drive. So there's one. The other is when we went to get our previous camper, which was a go fast camper, also a pretty awesome camper. Um, there's th reasons I went to Super Pacific, different video altogether, but uh, that drive was beautiful, boring as it gets, because if you've never driven across Northern Nevada and through the desert of Idaho, well, eh, if you could sleep through that on autopilot with a Tesla truck, Bingo. I got to sleep, but. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Big Sky, Montana. Gorgeous. I hadn't been there in a long time, and man, that place is beautiful. I cannot wait to mountain bike Big Sky. We, we went and the weather was, it just wasn't good timing for mountain biking. Plus, yeah. we got COVID lockdown, everything. Yeah, we had to. We had a fine line when we were able to go get it, so we did not yep. wait. We went and picked yeah, it up. I made that good. mistake. Yes, we, yeah. I could have gone and gotten it before COVID lockdown, and then I had to wait a couple months, yep. right? So I made that mistake of, no, I'll, this weekend I'll go get it. I, and we talked about it. I was like, man, I should just get in the car and go, and I didn't, yeah. But that being said, I love that area. I've, I'm a big fan of Montana. I actually would probably prefer to live there over anywhere. It's one of my favorite states. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, Big Sky Montana is on the list. Haven't decided other places on that route. I mean, if we're gonna drive that far, maybe we'll cut back across Idaho and, you know, rip across 20 and then, you know, go mountain bike, Sun Valley, Stanley, Idaho area. I don't know, we, we gotta put that route together. If, if you were leaving Northern California, blasting down 80 and heading to Big Sky, Montana, where would you go? Yeah, that's interesting. Interested. Yeah, where would you go? I, I mean, that's something worth checking out. Um, Maybe we'll stop my, you know, Wells or Elko, you know, but you know, I'm really interested to see Park City, Utah. Yep. Yeah, Park City, Utah. Um, I love Park City. I've uh, been going there for a long time. Um, you have not been to Park City? She has not been to Park City. Nope, um, I haven't rode it all in Utah. Okay, that I don't know if we're gonna do as a swing, but uh, definitely like Park City um, and, and get that in. That might be a flight in thing, not a camp trip. We'll have to work that out. You know, some of them might not be with the camper, um, but you know, Park City, Utah, St. George, Utah, um, you know, Moab, Utah. One of the trips uh, that, you know, the fruit of Colorado, Fruta, Moab, those things are close. Maybe that'll be in one trip. You know, things we've got to work out logistically, but those are on the list. Um, matter of fact, uh, depending on the amount of time I have and, you know, the schedule and, and David um, and all that good stuff. David's my son, he has autism, so we have to manage around that to some degree. Um, Fruta, Durango, and, and do like a swing, you know, hit all the really cool areas. Um, Moab, Fruta, Durango maybe, and then just make the long haul home uh, from there. So, you know, this is something else that's on the list of, you know, trips for this year. Uh, depending on this big storm that came through, will we keep getting them? Hope so. For skiing. Got that skiing in, hell yeah. yeah. If we don't keep getting them, well, we'll just start the riding sooner. And, you know, we've got until October to ride. So, yeah. got a lot of months to get these trips in. One of the trips I really want to take, I've read a lot about the place, I've watched videos on the place. Um, it's where the big accident was, the Darrington logging community. Um, we can go up to Bellingham as well from there in Washington, but I really, I Darrington is supposed to be a Downeyville in Washington. And I think that would be pretty rad because I love to ride Downeyville. Uh, Downeyville will be on the list this year. Quincy, Gray Eagle, all the usual sort of Northern California stomping. Um, she's ridden Downeyville a couple times, even when you were a beginner. Um, you did that's, great. That's when I rode the Mojo yeah. for the first time. Yep. And I, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Some places made me a little nervous, but yeah. I'm actually excited to get back to it. Yeah, exactly. And I, 
I think that your skills have improved so much that you know the change is going to be a lot of fun but her balance is like so much better than mine that she was doing stuff I would stop thinking she was either going to walk or have to wait and she would just roll it and keep going so you never know what somebody's going to be good at so just go out be supportive and hang out because you never know they might be shredding faster than you real soon yeah, I'm, I'm I didn't in. know how how much fun I would have. It's all a lot of it was about consistency. Yeah. So I think that's right now. That's sort of our. That's sort of the swing we're thinking about. It's a lot of stuff will be within distance of the camper. There's a there's a lot of places I still want to go ride. Um, there's some long trips I'll want to do. This summer might be challenging for that. We're we're sort of working out the logistics. Um, you know, you never know as. Different states have different rules and all the wonderful things we all get to experience right now. Um, you know, but you know, we do, we might go do some bike park stuff, maybe, you know, do some bike park stuff in Colorado because it's fun to do also. If you want to see a really funny crash, check that out. <laughs> she, uh, she thought the tree at North Star was her homie until <laughs> it, you know, threw her on the ground while it laughed. Uh, pretty funny and her words were oh I fell I don't uh, crash I fall yeah to be clear <laughs> when you hit a tree that hard you crashed um, you know it's cool uh, but anyway thanks for watching the video if you like this video hit like please tell us where you would ride on in these areas um, you know we're really looking forward to some cool trips these trips are gonna get documented so if there's a place you're if you're from far away and you're thinking about going on vacation to any one of these and you'd like to know more about it let us know tell us what you'd like to learn about the place because you know i like to go learn a lot about the place we uh we like to go find the local food we like to go find the local beer or hard cider cooler things uh you know the wife's gluten-free so beer it's not her thing um <laughs> You know, and we like to go check all of that out and experience different places. As a matter of fact, in Oak Ridge, we found a super rad campsite. Yes, we did. So that made the trip really cool because we were camping. The site was awesome. We were right on the river. You could just chill in the Willamette afterwards, mm -hmm. right? I mean, so things like that. If you know things like that too in areas where, you know, we're talking about going, we'd they love- that great restaurant too. And I don't remember what it was called. Yeah, the, it had the queen something it had gotten yeah. from England. Yeah. And we had- uh, um, We could- tell you because I definitely recommend it yeah it's well it's the only English oh. pub restaurant I mean Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge is a sprawling metropolis <laughs> yeah so I uh, know you can uh, you can go check that place out for sure but um, anyway if you like the video please like it make comments please subscribe to the channel uh, I'm, I'm really you know enjoying growing the channel hopefully there's good content in here and everybody likes it and uh, thanks for doing a video with me today yeah it was a lot of fun yeah. Everybody, have an awesome night. Bye. Thank you.